All right, you ready to rock? Let's get this IKEA Symphony set up. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is get the Sonos app from the Google Play Store. So once you've downloaded that, you should be ready to go. Let's get started. Okay, so now once you get the Sonos app installed, just activate it. And when you get into the Sonos app, you're gonna have to uh, create your credentials if you haven't done so already. It's gonna ask you some questions about location access. You can say allow all the time or when you're using the app. And then you're gonna to have to sign in. So you sign in, either create your account or sign in, then go check your email, verify your user account with the email and get back to your Sonos app. Notice that your account is now set up and then you can start using the app to set up your Symphonisk. So now you're gonna set up your Sonos products. It's gonna ask you what you're setting up. Of course, we're setting up the IKEA Symphonisk speaker, bookshelf speaker. So we're gonna set up the product. Then we're gonna click continue. Open it should search for your product. Now it's gonna ask for your Wi-Fi credentials. Go through the wireless setup. Once you press the buttons on your IKEA Symphonisk, you'll have to do them simultaneously as it's shown. So you'll press the play pause button and the plus sign simultaneously to listen for the chime. And you'll get the chime and then it'll start connecting through the connection process. It should take a few minutes. And now your Symphonisk bookshelf speaker is added. Now you get to name your bookshelf speaker. And in my case, I wanted to put it to the basement. So once that's done, this will take probably a couple minutes. Now you'll be able to register the product. And once the registration is done, Sonos will now ask you if you want to add a music service like Google Play Music, Spotify, Amazon Music. For me, I'm going to do Google Play Music. I'm going to add that to Sonos. So I already have an account, so I'm going to connect my Google Play Music account to the Sonos app. It's going to give me a code, then I'm going to have to authorize that. So Google's going to ask for that authorization. You enter that in. Connect it to your Google Play account. Once that's done, you'll have success. The device will be connected to Google. So now you're almost done. You've connected your Google account, your Google Play Music account to Sonos, and now you can play music from straight from Sonos or Google Play or Google Music. You can now group your account here under a special name for yourself so you know which account you're playing from on your Sonos app. And once you're done that, now you can start listening to the music. You can go into Google Play Music through the Sonos app and pick the music that you like and get ready to party. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this setup of the IKEA Symphonisk. And remember, don't hate, automate.